Hey, good morning. I've got my coffee. Everything's good. Uh, I emailed the Canadian consulate here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, asking them about uh, rental companies holding passports as collateral. I want to rent a bike, and the only way I seem to be able to rent a bike is if somebody, if they hold my passport, which I've been very hesitant to do. I have yet, I have not done that yet. And so I emailed the consulate here and they replied within one day. And they said, we strongly advise that you do not use your passport as collateral. We suggest you find another way to satisfy their need uh, to make sure that you're gonna return it, whether that's with a cash deposit or credit card. They didn't, they didn't specify how, they just said do not use your uh, passport as collateral. And they said as a consequence of losing your uh, passport in that way, by using it as collateral, there could be, um, I don't, they didn't say penalties, but oh, I would be under investigation by Passport Canada, probably due to an infraction because apparently the passport uh, is not mine. It's the property of the Canadian government. So there, you know, a little more information um, about this, I don't know, small dilemma. I talked to another guy here in Phnom Penh who's been here for 14 years and I, I told him that I wanted to rent a bike and he said, don't do it. They'll, don't do it. They're going to scam you. He says, every one of these rental companies, they're going to scam you. They're going to find scratches, they're going to find damage, and they're going to try to make you pay. Especially, and here's where the passport comes in, and I've been reading a little bit online. If they have your passport and they refuse to give it to you, until they could refuse to give it to you until you pay them. And I did hear a story, it was $600 over in Thailand. And uh, I mean, there's probably plenty of stories all over Asia or anywhere in the world. And like, humans scam, not Asians don't scam, Canadians don't scam, people scam. So let's be clear. Um, so I'm a little disappointed um, in the, his suggestion, don't do it, you're gonna get scammed. Um, yeah, that's an update. Let's have a look here. Downtown Phnom Penh. So right here, this here uh, is a, a store, like I'm at the coffee shop, but right beside it, or even the same family is selling coal. And they're using coal for cooking here. That's it, have a great day.